This is the improvisation etude on Rockin' in the Isles from APP Level 4. By the time you've got to this stage, students can probably look to doing what is written in the book and playing the slightly extended notes. But if you want to contain it further and just start on the one note like I've been doing in previous uh, modules, that's fine as well. Let's start very briefly by doing a beat to the backing track. So same thing, just play, clap what you think is a, a useful beat. Good, now try this. Other way around. Good. I think we've established that Rachel keeps a good beat. So now she's going to try and clap the rhythm which is marked here. It's largely an eighth notes, but it, it's a fairly energetic rhythm, so keep it energetic. You're almost being thrown by the fact you're listening to the backing track, which is not a bad thing. And probably easier with your thumb. Now, it sounds really nice to do that rhythm with G or B flat, so let's because it's quite bluesy. So let's try G or B flat, which makes it easier to play as well. Okay, G or B flat. One, two, three. Add C. Good. Now, I haven't asked you to go outside a finger five finger position, but in fact, the riff itself, which is in the pieces, That implies that if you did that, you'd have to change position and end up with your thumb on the D. But you can see how, therefore, at this stage, you can end up by being in different positions on the keyboard. So, and, and so on. Okay, so when you do your own tunes, it's quite good to think about that and actually just shift position just to try it out and see what it's like. Now, what I would do now with the student is perhaps get you to actually try a little riff, I call it, just a little sort of catchy idea. I'll give you one. You'll be surprised how simple this is. Now that was, that's a variation, isn't it? I, did, I didn't uh, riff and then I did a little different ending. So try a little really catchy idea of your own without the music first. Just play a little catchy little theme. So let's try with the track. Now, in a very simple way, let's do a variation now. Could you change the last note? So when you repeat it, change the note. Back to the first one. And then play this. time this piece it's quite effective to do a rock style thing and join the riff effectively you did your own there now can you remember your idea I think you probably can can't you so keep it in your mind let's try the left hand chords of this piece now now these are really kind of crunchy rock chords don't forget the first note's got a B flat in it the first chord I'm sure you knew that I do sometimes get students where they don't look at the key signature at all but not in this part of the world obviously feels great, doesn't it? Now, play your idea for the right hand now again. Just remind me of what it was. Can you remember it? Didn't it start with an F? That's it. That's your idea. Try that with the left hand. So keep repeating that idea but with the left hand chords as well.
is the last note. And that's the end of this module. Well done.